Hello everyone, Robert here with the Techie 311 iPhone 6S Plus tutorial. So I want to show you guys what makes the iPhone 6S Plus different than the regular iPhone 6 Plus. The main feature is going to be the 3D Touch. So I'm going to show you with Apple's uh, apps right here so you can get an idea. If I hold in tight, I'm going to get this new little pop-up. So it's going to show me what I can do. Everything else in the background fades. Go here to Mail, for example. You can go in here to Maps, Safari, Messages, Phone, if I want Phone. Uh, settings doesn't do anything, unfortunately. You can go into your wallet, which will just show you your default card. You can do your photos. Uh, find my iPhone, but I'm not going to do that right now. Weather doesn't do anything. Your camera is the best one. This is the one that I use the most. Take your photos, slow-mo, video, selfie, and so forth. Uh, Apple Store, same thing. You can do shopping, iTunes Store, your music, your notes your reminders, uh, even news, then iMovie, you can create a new movie, podcast, uh, your activity doesn't do anything, your iCloud Drive, video, shows you your videos, uh, health doesn't do anything, your Apple Watch doesn't do anything right now, your memos or your stocks, neither one of those. All right, and so basically on the iPhone 6S compared to the iPhone 6, there are three kind of touches. So you want to remember you have your light touch, which is lightly touching. That's going to give you your wiggle. You're going to have your harder touch, which is basically your force touch. Okay, and that's going to give you your pop-up. And then you're going to have even harder touch. So let's say we do, for an example, I'm going to go into the mail, all right? And here you see I've got a lot of mail, right? So let's say we go into here. Okay, that's how you open up the mail normally. If I want to preview a mail, I do the medium touch. There it is. I let go and it's gone. But if I want to see the mail, I push in. That's the hard touch. That brings me into the mail. Then I can do my usual move everything from here if I want to. Or, I can do a light touch, preview it, pull it up, and it gives me the same options down here on the bottom. I can move that message wherever I want, and it's gone. You can also slide across, mark it as red if you want to, slide and mark it as red, or bring it to preview, slide it across, and mark it as unread. Or, bring it to preview, slide it to the left, and you're going to get the delete. So you get those few options in here and what you can do. So that's one feature that you have with the Force 3D Touch, in other words, what it's called. So you have the three things. Now I've noticed something new, which I didn't notice before, but let's say you're in a, a uh, app or whatever, not really an app, but let's say you're in a web page, and you Force Touch something, or 3D Touch, it's going to pull that picture up. You're going to get this new little thing where it looks up everything from whatever picture you're, you're looking up. So let's say we go in here, for example, I'll show you this is something new. We're going to look up um, iPhone 6S, and I'm going to go to Images. Now normally on Images, when you want to save something, you had to hold your finger, and then you hit the Save Image and Copy. Now, with 3D Touch, you can hold the image, lift up, and they give you the option now below, Save Image or Copy. So that's the new thing that you have with 3D Touch on the 6, 6S, or 6, um, 6S Plus. Now here's another thing too. I want to show you something. Look how fast I can switch with the 2 gigabyte RAM from web page to web page with no refreshing in between. So that's another feature that is fantastic with this. All right. You get everything else for iOS 9. All that stuff is here. All the stuff is the same. So, like I said, the main feature is going to be that. In your photos, though, if you go into your photos, the best thing about it is you're going to get that live photo on the top. So everything you take is going to be live. 
going to be a live photo. That's another feature you're going to get with the 6S Plus alone. Okay, and then of course your app switching, you can double tap or you can hold your finger to the side and pull across and you can swipe everything up that way. And that's also another good feature there. You have a little, uh, you know, a lot of little features here that you can do. You know, so it's, it makes it very, um, very good, very useful, very fast. I mean, the, the 6S Plus is definitely very fast. Any of the 6S are very, very fast uh, devices. So I wanted to give you guys an example, show you guys how the Force 3D Touch works, show you how fast the 2 gigabyte RAM is, uh, give you an example of, of basically what to expect if you get the 6S. So there's a lot more for me to show you. I don't have enough time in, on YouTube to do it. I'll show you guys more within Patreon. So make sure you guys are signed up to become my patron. I'll show you a lot more on there. All right, so I thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment if you got comments. And if it's your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe. You get all my videos as they come out. All right, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys with more.